Oh, ho, ho, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new review live of the Kong, and they're a little bit dusty, I was going to say Skull Island. Uh, 2005 Playmates, we have the Roaring Bull V-Rex, and we have the Roaring Kong. Um, pretty cool stuff. Going to show off all the packaging, and then unbox it, and then what's up, Cabalta? Say hi to everybody and answer questions, and I have all my dinosaurs down here. If you have a request and the usual suspects, I can uh, I can answer that for you. So we can compare and uh, yeah, we can do some dinosaur stuff. Hello, Alfalfa and F N A F nerd. I remember your name now. Pretty good, right? So clean it off. Make sure it's nice for the camera. I wonder if I can. How, how, how does that look? Let's go this way. That looks better. Mine says offline. Well, that's weird because uh, mine says live. You made a gamer. What's up, guys? All right, so I want to do the bull wrecks first. So we'll save Kong for later. So um, these guys are very interesting. Um, looks good compared to the, with the Kenorexes. You got it, Alejandro. We'll do that. So we have ourselves the front of the packaging. It's a window, and you have a little hole to try out the uh, demo features. You can see that there is a little ridge right there. You can pull back that and then the jaw will open. That is quite a lot of uh, sounds just for the demo itself. So uh, yeah, um, looking forward to trying out pretty much the plastic Kong version of uh, yeah Expand Dawn, what? We're, yeah, there you go, Zen. Your, your internet might have been buffering, buddy. What's up, uh, friend? But uh, let's go look at the packaging. Let me close. Let me get in focus for you guys. Ah, uh, here we are. Where are you? Uh, that's about focused. So you got your Kong, eighth one of the world from 2005. It just says Kong and not like King Kong. Very interesting. And then you have the Kong itself render right there. That's pretty cool. Blue and yellow. Good color scheme. Uh, down below here, you got the window. And you see the background. I'll show you off when I take it out of the box. Um, the background's like the vines, and you got the yellow. So these guys are expensive. So uh, I'll tell you the price. It's also the price I paid for, I think, is in the description below. For some reason, these guys go for a lot of money. But you got your sticker right for the Try Me. Uh, this side right here swallows the victim's hole. Pretty dope. And there are your victims. That's why I put in the scale one inch because it looks like they're literally one inch tall. Um, Playmates includes the two double A batteries, ages four and up. You sold yours a while ago. You miss it? Shit, I, I never had this guy before, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, Roaring Bull V Rex, the Ravager Lizard King, hilarious. Warning label. This side looks pretty cool. So there's a wide of it. Looks all right. I'll get close for you. Show it off. Eighth Wonder of the World. It's like right underneath that. Uh, it's, a, it's a map in the video game. So you can bust through the little th uh, rocks. Even though I don't think there's a play set for that. But you can see the V-Rex itself. Hear the V-Rex roar. At the bottom there is the text. So, yeah. I never played WW <laughs> or RunScape. Um, there is this other side. You can see the window in. So that's kind of cool. And you got your... Kong, eighth wonder of the world. Going down the window, you can see him in there. And going down the bushes and stuff. Pretty dope. You're holding the Kong and the V-Rex. Sick. Can you find this on eBay? Uh, yeah. Uh, you can also get them on Amazon, but they're probably more expensive on Amazon. Here's a wide of the guy. And then I'll get close for you. And you can see all this stuff. There's a lot of uh, things here to see. You got your text, so... There's the text. You can pause and read that if you like to, if you're watching this archived. Or if you're watching this live, I think you can also pause it, as well as DVR, if you didn't already know that. Got all the text there for um, the victims and the bone crunching, all the action features and stuff, so it looks really cool, including the um, bull T-Rex Jurassic Park-like stomach trapdoor. Uh, not so much a trapdoor for the bull rex, but you can still take out the... Um, the victims, so that's pretty cool. And on the bottom, you got your uh, battling game, your Supreme Kong, your Roaring Kong. I do not have the Supreme, I just have the Roaring. And there's the text for Playmates, official movie merchandise, Universal, 
uh, blah, 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 blah. And then logo and kingkongmovie.com. I wonder if that's still a good thing or thing or that's still around. I doubt it. But uh, that's the box, and we're going to open them up. Even though I already did open them up, up top here. He was new, but his, his tail on uh, right there was loose. And actually, it still is a little bit loose. It should be a little bit higher up. I'll show it when I unbox it. What's up, Dylan? What's up, Basketball Pro? You got to NIB? Yeah, this guy was NIB, but I opened him, and this guy is still unopened. The tape is still sealed. See that? Oh, yeah. So, the Kong, I'm not so much excited about the Kong. The only reason I got the Kong was because it came in the lot with this, and it was relatively cheap. So, um, yeah. Open up the top, like so. And then you got two flaps right here and here. Yeah, these are these are pretty dope toys. And then uh, bring them on out. There we are. Just put this safely over there because I like to keep the boxes of dinosaur stuff, especially this stuff. Um, so there's what it looks like. And then I'll I'll get close and show it off all the little detail in the packaging. It actually looks really cool. You got like fake rocks right there. Uh, over here is like fake jungle. Um, the rocks go down, and then right in front here is the plastic little guys, which I'll show off, don't worry, and I'll also demo them being eaten. Right there you got your V-Rex, oh, that looks so cool, and then like I said, behind him is the, uh, the, the yellow and green vines. Also a cool little tidbit, is it for the same for the Kong? Okay, no, but he was not a scene in the film in 2005. Remember when the V-Rexes fell and they got tangled in the, the vines? It's almost like the same exact thing, I don't know what that was what they were going for. But then you got like your cutout for the top there. And then you got your instructions here on the right side. I'll probably forget to do that, so what's up, Death Star and Buzz Lightyear? Where have you guys been? Especially you, Buzz. What's up, Jesse? Uh, usually, Buzz, you're there at the uh, wrestling live streams. So I'm going to take off the Rex. I'm going to tilt down, why not? Take off the uh, Rex uh, via these strings here attached on the back side. So I uh, might just see if I can do actually shit like this maybe I don't want to mess it up but I guess you got no choice right um, I think the T-Rex or the V-Rex how do I are you talking about the Kenner T-Rex or the V-Rex how do I know I didn't even open this up yet how much does the V-Rex cost it should be in the description um, I, th I think this is a lot for 150 so like 75 each even though this guy can go for at least 150 to 300 so um you feel like toys mib should be not opened uh, it depends on uh depends um honestly if you're a collector you should do whatever you want to um toys honestly shouldn't be kept in boxes they should be opened you can put them back in and display them but uh i don't think they should be like displayed forever and not opened at all they're toys, right? I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Is he cool? All right, so one's down. Uh, this the, the tail should come out pretty pretty easily. You kind of just like slide it out, and uh, you can also move these. So this is kind of like curled in behind. You just pop it open, and then this came off quite easily. The tail, and it's kind of like I guess you just snap it in like Hasbro. But obviously, unlike Hasbro, this is well detailed and well painted. So, yeah, VRX for 150 alone. Yep, that's pretty much the prices. I got this guy uh, on my Instagram. I posted a photo. It, obviously, like I said, it came in a lot. So, um, uh, it might have been like August something. I'm gonna do a video or uh, do a up channel update on how I got screwed by PayPal. Um, explaining all that's left to review the toys that I have, which is quite a lot, but I have a lot of stuff from November to, oh, Mar I think I'm already, no, wait, I have a leg left from November to, or August to November of last year. You have one little piece for the leg, uh, right down there, you probably can't tell, but there's a little thing there. We are Groot. Um... You can't get rid of it because it's not tied to the back here. It's tied within the front, so it'll be kind of difficult. Yeah, this is all plastic. It's not rubber. 
Um, so I might, uh, no, no, I have an idea. So what I can do is take off this plastic because it's available right here to do. And here, and here, and uh, let's just separate it from the tape here. You're watching Mary Poppins right now. What's what's my opinion on SGG? SGG is fine. That's, SGG is my friend. He's cool, dude. Okay, so separate the plastic from the cardboard, and uh, should be able to just unwrap this leg. That's really confusing and unnecessary. They could have just put it straight to the cardboard, but whatever. And all right, we're ready to go. Come on, buddy. See, now the live reviews are like if I were to do a review and not edit it at all because this is how much time it takes to unpackage things, to make everything look nice, you know, focus and shit. Is there seriously one for the toe too? Or we have a hookup for the back leg. There we go. Alright, there's something for the bottom right here, so I'm gonna take it off. Oh lord. There we go. God. Look at look how long this line is of twisty ties. Jesus. This was well packed, right? I'm not gonna kill the box. I gotta take care of this baby. There we are. Safely over here. And let's snap them together and show off the detailing and oh yeah, I forgot to show off the little humans. So I'll just take this small piece of tape. Take them out. And the instructions, of course. Free him! There we are. And the instructions right here. There we are. Cool. And then, God, it's so dumb. Still have more to go. Look at that. Yay. All right. Instructions first, and then assembly. Um, playing. Testing. Uh, am I using a J or something Conway? Because uh, this is just for dinosaurs. I don't have Kong stuff, obviously. I did not see Shin Godzilla. Did anyone else see Shin Godzilla? Looks like one side is just plain, nothing on it, and then this other side, again, close, nice focus for you. Uh, we have some stuff. Come on. There we go. So, I'll just hold it. Snap on the detachable tail, move the power switch, uh, conserve the battery life, pull the lever, yep. Uh, number four, release the eaten victims. And then uh, how to put the batteries in the butt, just like everywhere else from a dinosaur. And then the rest of it, which I don't need to read, but if you like to, you can pause and read this if you want. But yeah, that's it. Pretty simple instructions. Everything on those instructions is pretty much available on the packaging. So, yeah. Here we go. We got our V-Rex. We got our V-Rex tail. Kind of worried. I've heard of these things come off, but here we go. I'm worried. Ooh, that's fucking stiff. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Well, there it is. I really like the look of this now that the tail's in. Yeah, this is pretty dope. Um, you can see there. Nice looking uh, scale. Uh, nice looking big long tail. And, uh,. Look up. Let me get down for you so you can see how it stands. It stands. Uh, you can see there's even some some space there, and I can go all the way up, just fine. Let's see how low it can go. Up. So you can't go too low without it falling, but it does have a set pattern. 
for the feet because this foot is raised up kind of like that uh, uh the good dinosaur galloping butch that i reviewed so this isn't flat but this one's flat so there you have it he does stand horizontal which i like and it does look awesome so all right let's go up mm. go. Well, that's fine oh man this guy looks really cool um the tail still is bothersome but uh I'll probably buy it one for a custom because uh, you notice we have some lines around, especially uh, right there. Um, overall, it doesn't look too bad though, paint wise. Uh, are there any defects? No, the only real troublesome thing is this side. You see, it's got the little beige paint right there, but then it goes back to the blue for that piece and then it goes back underneath for the beige. A little bit confusing, but yes, it does stand way better than the IRX. It actually freaking stands. But going around, then you see that this doesn't really match up well. But uh, overall, this looks really good. You want to know why? Sculpt. So let's get in real close and show off this guy. That's a nice looking head. That is a nice looking toy teeth well I mean there's a big ass line for the uh, the separage of plastic but uh you can see there are more lines for plastic but as long as you got detail there I mean, there's even uh detail for the body Let's see if I can get even closer and show hey what's up Mike And the tail itself. Let's go backside. Yeah, that's nice. So, real good. And then the end of the tail, which is a weird design, but that's Kong. It's not, it's not a flat tail, it's got like this little club type deal. Feet. And legs, let's go legs and feet. So you got some scarring there. Going down. Armored legs. Feet itself. Let's go other side. <clears throat> this toy is amazing. It is a good it's a good picture job. You mean paint job? Or are you talking about the quality of the live stream? Uh, but yeah, Playmates kicks ass. So here's the other leg. Nice, nice muscle tone too. It's not just the lighting. Not just the lighting. Um, uh, damn, two subs in one. Two fist bumps. But, looks great. And there's the bottom. I was talking about the footprints there. So, and then the belly. You got your trademarks there on the bottom. You got your Kong logo. Nice little uh, belly there. And that's where the Actually, that's the little area, the door for the people. So that's why it's so, like, corpulent. But back to underneath. So nice nice underneath there. Dots. Like, it's like almost like mud. That's a great paint job. So that's a good job by them. And awesome, just like at the burp. <laughs> just like Tommy. Uh, you got screw holes, but you have covers for the screws. You can see them right there. Um, anywhere else? Let's see. Um, that looks like the only two. Holy shit. That's pretty awesome. So, once again, Hasbro being lazy for Jurassic World. What's up, support guy? So, yeah. Um, I think the VR stole the spotlight, too. But we like dinosaurs, right? So he, maybe he's supposed to. But you can see the trademarks there. Kong, you can see the Kong logo right there on his chest going down. That's where his uh, battery compartment is. There's another screw hole right there in the cover. And they got on and off. Looks like there's just on and off. Yeah, there's no there's no try me. So that what you saw with the demo earlier is the actual uh, sounds. Going down, you still got the mud on the bottom of the tail. And there, yeah, that's it. So really great and articulation for the arms so 
up. I should actually just go this side for you first. That's as much down. That's as much up. Pretty good. This is much up. I don't want to stress it any further. And then down. Nice range. Um, and of course, if you didn't notice already, got the speaker here on the right side, not in the stomach. Um, probably because that's the only way they could put it on. So, uh, was that up dog? Huh? He do look good. Yeah, he do. Uh, and the really great thing about this guy, before I say about his weight and his heft, which is a lot, um, I'm part of the detailing. You see there, like a little jaw mark, a little U. He definitely has a battle scar, definitely bitten by some dinosaur or creature. That's really awesome. It's really cool. And of course, the ridge here is separate. For eating people. Now, this guy from the backside, if you had him posed like that against Kong, looks really awesome. So, yeah. Um, am I going to have video of 40th anniversary? Absolutely not. I don't like that shit. Um, yeah, so it's 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 kind of like the Bull Rex. It is, Dylan. So we have ourselves right here, our Bull V-Rex. We have ourselves a native from the film. And I'll show off the people before I eat them, or he eats them. Um, very little guy. I'll get measurements of everybody at the end here. But basic paint. Um, he does have red on his eyes, doesn't he? He's got some red there. Weird. Ugly. But... Authentic, right? He's got his tarps covering his privates. Um, I have no idea who this guy is. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, so maybe you can say in the chat below. Far better than Hasbro is right. There you have him. And another guy. Looking around, different pose. All of them have a flat base, so you can... Um, Stand him really easily. So let's let's go down. Let's give us some of this debris from the box. And let's have him eat him. So let's just do that if you're a kid. Um, let's have him standing. Let's have him straight up eat it. What's up, Dark? Um, ready? Here we go. We're doing a size comparison for sure, Ethan, at the end here. So don't worry, Ben and Ethan. So pulled back the finger. Oh, that's so cool. Try the other guy. Ooh, swallowed him whole. Oh, that was sick. Dude, I might like this more than the Bull Rex. Let's just right now, I have a Kenner guy, and let's see which one's more fun. This is going to be interesting, because I grew up on this shit. <sighs> And I mean, the size of this guy and the, the, the sculpt and the rubber is no doubt, but like, you can t literally take two hands for this guy. So let's get him out of the belly. Which that came out very easily, like you saw. Yeah, one inch Playmate has more detail than it has, bro. I don't know about that one, but uh, it's really cool that you can stand up a guy there, literally with even one hand. Maybe if you're a kid, you have two, but say you have one. All you gotta do is pull back. Great engineering by Playmates. Just pull back and just eat. And you can even, within one finger, still, on one hand, swallow them whole. So, um, let's try out the Omega Bull. And uh, pretty much, I think as a kid, you just take this and... Or you can just take them and throw them straight in. But that's really great engineering. You can just do it with one hand. No problem at all. But here... You know, just put in, sorry Nick, my favorite Lost World character outside of Ian Malcolm. Just throw him in there, you kind of shove him in. So it's a little bit uh, more tricky, even though Kenner is amazing. And it comes out the stomach right there. You kind of just yank him out. And uh, you don't have to worry about ripping the rubber because it's so thick and awesome. And the toy's perfect, and there you go. You have your Nick Van Owen out of your, uh, if you didn't know how this works, a Bull Rex or an Omega Rex. So, yeah. Um, all right. I'm gonna do measurements next, and then I'll do comparisons, but I'll just do a quick comparison right now of these two. So, this is the sizings of them. So you can see they're not in scale uh, at all. But uh, yeah, these toys are just badass.
but that's Omega. Let's get measurements and then do the rest of the comparisons. And then ask me more comparisons, and then we'll move on to Roaring Kong. So, this toy is freaking awesome. I think this was like 40 maybe $40 um, back in the day in 2005. I don't know because there's no database. I just assume. Um, but yeah, let's go with the little guys here. This guy is like an inch and five eighths tall. Actually, let me see if I can just get in focus for you can see better, even though you trust me, right? Uh, there you go. So, uh, this guy I think is taller. He's an inch and three quarters. So, there you go. I'm wearing the Jurassic World shirt today. I didn't even think about that. Um, did I mess this guy up, or is he? He was he was posed like that with his knees all weird. This guy's about one and three eighths inches tall. So, those are those are them. Don't worry, I got I got uh, the the stomping crap over here. Okay, so lengthwise, from tip to tip, we got about sixteen and a quarter inches. Get back a focus for y'all. Sixteen and a quarter. So yeah, not too bad. And let's say um, depth wise, let's just go like feet to feet. Um, Feet to feet's about five-ish, but like if you wanted to go like maybe tip, now nah, about there, because the edge of this toe almost lines up with where the head ends, and this toe about where the tail curve ends right there. So, yeah. Damn. Sorry, Joe. Joe ain't watching, but. Sent me a text. He's all mad. Um, hey, did I say about the weight? This guy probably weighs four pounds or so. He's pretty heavy. This guy, I think, is heavier than the Stomp and Strike. Uh, I didn't get height of him, did I? He's about seven and a quarter inches tall for you. So, I can probably do this. There you go. Let's, um... Got the Utah Raptor right here. That's a good. That's a good one. So, he is nearly like the size of a Utah Raptor. Nearly the same exact size. The Utah Raptor. Actually, if I push the Utah Raptor about there, they're almost the same exact. You see that, guys? From tip of the tail, Utah Raptor might be a little bit longer, but nearly the same height, nearly the same length. So, if you're thinking V-Rex, just think Utah Raptor size. Um, I'll probably never do a Cut Red Rex review unless I get one in box and I unbox it for you guys brand new. Uh, speaking of the devil, here's a Cut Red Rex with the uh, V-Rex. You can see the difference here. I'll move it a little bit further up. Um, almost like three quarters the size. So yeah, more like stomping shit. It is stomping shit. What's up, Cheapzilla? Um, well, for the React Attack, would you scale scale with? Good question. I have a React Attack pack uh pack raptor so what do you think as he falls over because he's a react attack so there's our react attack and our v-rex uh not in scale if this is supposed to be an adult so uh in scale for them but yeah react attack's all messed up um stopping shit y'all want to see him I wanted to see, yeah, this is heavier. The V-Rex is heavier than this. You want to know why? Right here is cheap plastic. Right here is uh, high quality. So, stomping crap. Let's go tip of the tail and on. And you can see here, stomping crap is bigger. So, yeah. So, yeah. Got ourselves a Thrasher. And let's go tip of the tail. Tip of the tail to here. That's about the sizing. So, obviously not in scale. Uh, yeah, the JP3 Spinosaurus. Uh, guy called it. Locust drone. You gonna work for me, buddy? Probably need new batteries. What do you need? Can it work? Yeah, he's probably all busted up right now. He's stuck in his, uh, wow! Roar. But, yeah. 
Uh, playmates make toy kids. Uh, aren't all kids for toys? Let's go feet. Um, there's the Spino and the V-Rex. That would be pretty good. That's not too bad. But uh, that's the animatronic. Uh, here he goes. There we go. All right, cool. Want to perform for the camera? Only half. What's up, THX? There we go. Thrasher's the best T-Rex toy ever. I think I agree. Um, let's go. Uh, these. These are the last ones. I got nearly the same size-ish. Parasolophorus. The V-Rex. Not too bad. They're kind of compatible. He should be probably be a little bit bigger. Um, we got your Young as a Series 1 Raptor Falls. Young Rex about nearly the same-ish size. See that? Nearly the same size. So I also think besides Utah Raptor, Young Rex. Here we have the Series 1 Raptor. So, excuse me. Small. Uh, that's kind of compatible. Not too bad. Spinal sounds like a bird. Spinal sounds like the Spino. And here's our uh, Series 1 Trike. And it uh, looks pretty good. Um, you can probably have some play times with this if you're a kid. So, yeah. Not too bad. Alright. Um, are there any more ones that I have over here that you guys want to see? I wish Playmates got Jurassic 2, but, uh, um, this guy is dope. I really like him. Um, will this come out? I heard it does, but I'm kind of scared to try it out, though. All right. Dog barking. Uh, it looks like the square comes out. Goddamn, Romy. Um, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. I can put them back in the box. Sweet. So that does come out fairly easily. But I do want to buy one to customize. So, probably just put it back in and glue it. So, yeah. Um, I will put them, I'll pretend to have them right here. But, yeah, React Attack Trike will scale great. I don't have, oh, no. A little bit of them broke off. This little black piece. What was this? It might have been for... This area? No, I don't see it. My god. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, little black piece. Oh, I think I know where. It probably came out of like the, 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 the female portion of this, where the circle's supposed to go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, was, it might have been for the top here. Because the plastic is so old, maybe. But, yeah. So I think this Bull V-Rex is awesome. Yes, I'm going to give it a recommend, even though it's a lot of money. So maybe don't spend so much money, but yeah. Uh, do I have a Ghost... Will I ever consider a Ghostbusters toy live stream? Uh, no, my audio is cutting in and out because I have uh, my c keyboard right here tied to my mic. So if I press zero, it cuts out and it mutes it so you don't have to hear the fucking dog going crazy. See? So, Yeah. And that's why you're like, oh, the mic, the, you're, I can't hear you. I accidentally press zero when I'm doing the WWE. And I'm searching for toys when you guys are asking questions. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, good luck, Dylan. Um, Roaring Kong time, guys. Roaring Kong. Hmm? Roaring, Roaring Kong time. Uh, you can also ask at the end if you want to see any other uh, comparisons with these guys. So, favorite Jurassic Park vehicle? Maybe the trailer. It's a good question. Dude, you were 16 2005? I think I was too. Damn, I got another piece that came out. Shit, man. Old ass plastic. Can you see that? Ugh. Yeah, you have to like glue it. That sucks. But you can put it back in, but it'll just come out easily. But uh Yeah. I'll get one, I'll buy one and get custom get customized. How many did it cost? It's in the description, my friend. It is in the description. Uh, let's do Roaring Kong next, and then answer questions for the figures, and then be all right for today. Here we have Roaring Kong, which I have not opened yet. So, thank you, Sierra, Richard, or however you pronounce your name, Rar. Um, Roaring Kong. Here is the wide. Let me open up back my um, 
focusing so we can get close and show off Kong. Pretty much the same exact box. We got your Kong text, you got your Kong render all in blue and yellow looking all nice and fancy. Try me, Kong roars, so I'll step back from the mic. You push his chest, which is a little black piece right there, his pecs, and uh, you just press it in and kind of hold it, and uh, the mouth will open and roar. So, you ready? You Man, pretty violent and brutal that they include um, the people dying and crunched and shit for Kong and for the Rex. Um, that's pretty... You know, something that's actually really cool is his face is rubber, and I'll show it off. But his face opens... When you press that chest, as long as you don't keep messing with it and press it too hard, you might break it. But, uh, my god. Do I think the, the V-Rex is better than Red Rex? No. Um, but that's really cool that the mouth opens. So that's a really cool action. Um, chest pounding action logo. Getting focused there. Down below, you got your little native area. Uh, playmates, ages 4 and includes two batteries. Duh. Um, over here, warning logo. And then you got your people, and there's your uh, Naomi Watts, I assume. And it looks like probably Jack. Uh, is that might possibly with a camera and a native? Uh, this side, got a wide window, just like the other Roaring Bull V-Rex. So you got Kong going down, you got the vines, the rocks. Roaring Kong ages four and up. <laughs> And then let's go wide of this side. Roaring. Come on. There you go. Roaring Kong. And then Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. Kong, pound his chest. And then roaring sound effect. And then down here, you got your uh, text. You know what? I didn't show up the bottom of the other one. So concentrated, mesmerized by the packaging. This is the bottom. I don't think I showed the bottom um, of the Bull V Rex. And there's the barcode. You know, you don't need that shit because it's obsolete. But show off the bottom of here for proceeding. Just black and bland. So there you have it. Da 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 da. Da da da. There you go. The show this side. Yeah. Top. Clear window, just like the V-Rex. Looks cool. Got your vines, you can see inside. Great packaging. I got 21 likes, lol. Uh, here's the wide of the back. So, looks dope. Get close for you. Roaring Kong. I'm not going to read the text on that last side. And you pause to read it if you like to. Um, Kong's mouth opens wide with maximum rage. Um, great stuff. Right here, press the uh, chest. Oh, we already did that. Flip the switch to a chest power action. I'm looking forward to testing that out. Over 11 inches tall. And then pretty much got the same exact stuff as the Roaring V-Rex. But they just switched out the Rex with the Roaring Kong. Or vice versa, I should say, what I'm talking about. Uh, text, like we've seen before. Uh, note to parents, BS, you know. PG-13. Gotta say it. Because you don't want five-year-olds seeing it, even though I was five, I think. I was four years old when I saw Dress Park, so. Favorite 80s movie, that's tough. I'll have to think about that after the review. <laughs> Rooting on Kong or Godzilla? Definitely Godzilla. So, um, I got all sides ready. And I haven't touched this, unlike the V-Rex. So I'm looking forward to actually, there we go, opening it up. Has, this hasn't been opened by anybody at all in production since 2005. 12 years and... Oh, 12 years. Yeah, 12 years. Open it up. Don't open it. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to be open. There's a... Oh, no. Okay, we got some more tape right here. It's not supposed to be open. That's a collectible item. What are you doing? I only collect in box. I just watch it on the shelf. 
It's fun. You were eight when you saw Predator? Damn, Predator's a scary movie. If you think about it. If that shit was real, that's a frightening movie. Hey, okay, yeah, here's the opening. Uh, looks slashy, looks really nice. Oh, uh, here we go. Ready? Ugh. There you go. It's 12 years later, first time. Does anyone even review these on YouTube? Unboxing, this might be the only one. That looks very cool. Inside, he's not as complicated as the V-Rex, no depth. Um, so it looks really cool. You got your Kong. With the vines. I'll show off, of course, the detailing of Kong. Tape holding all the people, all the players. Is that dust? A little bit. Backside, you know. Uh, that side, you have to... Um, that looks like it was ripped open, even though it was sealed. Uh, this side. And then uh, the bottom, we have the instructions, which is weird, because the other one was for the V-Rex right there. So, yeah. Uh, we will do counter-sized dinosaur comparisons with Kong, don't worry. Alright, so uh, how are you connected, my friend? Uh, connected via arm, right here. Uh, connected via uh, left arm here, right arm here, and two feet. And it's kind of funny, his feet, even though they look like they articulate, look like just like the Kong uh, sculpt from the Skull Island one. So, yeah. Alright, um, let's, let's get to town, shall we? <laughs> oh, man. I'm kind of looking forward to this one, because, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't want to buy him, like I said, he, he came in a lot, but I guess if you're going to have a V-Rex, you might as well have Kong to fight him, right? So, even though I'll probably end up selling this, I don't know what, what, what the future holds. Ugh. But it's been fun. How long are we doing this? Nearly an hour. We're 40 minutes. Hey, Zen, I already answered that. Uh, damn, these people, man, who work at these factories, fucking tie these the most intricate ways, like looping them all over the fucking place. There we go, see? They can't just put them straight on twisty ties. Ridiculous. Ugh. There we are. I can imagine if I did a review for both of these guys, it'd take forever to edit. Thanks, Liam. Very kind of you to say that. I appreciate it. Oh, there we are. And feet and arms. Your arm. Ugh. There's seven when you saw partner pair two. That's awesome. Shouldn't you have three V-Rexes? Yeah, if I'm a hoarder. Unfortunately, I only have one. This one. Pretty satisfied with it. But yeah, we should have three, right? If we were like a collector that's supposed to have um, thoughts on eight, um, a million things. Uh, thoughts on, uh, we got two pets. Uh, thoughts on Animal Planet toys, they're okay. Uh, they can send me them to review, but uh, I, won't, I won't buy them. I got money. If I'm spending money, I'm spending money on Lego or Sideshow. That's what I'm spending money on. Or they can send me stuff. That'd be great. Y'all, did y'all watch the uh, Kylo Ren video I just released today? The helmet, very artsy. That's the stuff I'm be going for. Besides, uh, obviously, this stuff, which is easy to do because I can chat with you and unbox it live on the internet, uncensored and uncut. But uh, I like, to, I want to do and produce more artsy type videos because uh, they provide something a little bit better for YouTube, something a little different. Uh, rather than, uh, in front of the camera bullshit. Like this. But in video form, not live streams. Obviously during live streams, you have no choice. This is being a little bitch. If only had fingernails. There we are. Uh, where'd you get that from? eBay. It's in the description. Uh, a lot of people around you wear headphones. Damn these people, man! I'm not looking forward to doing this next one. Let's let's zoom down so you can see what I'm doing. 
or should I say pan. There we go. We got one. This other one's gonna be a bitch next. And then don't forget this, Maddie. And this one next. There we go. Hell, I don't even know if Kyle will even have a helmet, but uh, yeah, it's obviously the Force Awakens helmet. Uh, but I don't even know if Kyle will even have a helmet for uh, Last Jedi. Um, thank you, Death Star. Um, I don't even think he's gonna have one. Um, if he does, I'll be surprised. But if he do if he does, it will probably be different. And we should be set. Kong should just come straight out, and then of course take off the, the tape for these guys. There you are. Ah, shit. There's two. Actually, can we just? No? Fuck. There you are. Bloop. Come on, buddy. Jesus, that took forever. Why is I'm at the wrong angle? And there we are. And then Kong, besides uh, that, let's just come straight out, too. Uh, this shit's messy. Hmm. Let's put away this and not die. Do I watch Always Sunny Philly? Yeah. I used to all the time, but I don't really watch TV no more. The only, the only TV I watch now is wrestling. I, barely, I don't even watch that no more because Braun Strowman's out. I don't care. I'll just watch the pay-per-views. I don't got time. Ugh. Sucks about the helmet thing. What do you mean? Oh, him not having it, possibly? Ugh. There we are. And then, um... He's got a tie for his this hand to his body, so that's the only thing I have to win. One thing left. And it looks like it's just to the front, so that's nice and lovely. You can just take him out. Just take him out. Dylan's back. I like Kyle as a character, you like his look more than the actual character. I like both. Uh the character speaks to me. Ooh. Well this is interesting. We have ourselves our Kong. Oh my god! Now, this is cool. I, I wish, uh, I don't think the Lenard's Kong Skull Island did this, but there is a lever here on the back side. Black to match his black back. And he's got a lot of bloody marks. Nice little detailing. You know, it's a little bit brutal, possibly. But between his trap, on his traps on his spine, is this black little lever. He just pretty much pushes that side to side. And then you do that chest pounding action like I just did. So uh, you got yourselves the battery pack there on his lower back. Giving him some back support. You got some lines there for the feet. Probably because the feet articulate. What the hell? That almost looks like a pagan symbol or something. That it might be. You never know. Maybe that's why I've had so much bad luck since I bought him. No. Um, obviously, it's just a joke. More scratchings random. Obviously, the best scratchings are um, or I showed you earlier. The, the back and that arm. Um, scratchings, scratchings, and on his freaking face, too. All bloodied and shit. And if you notice, this is rubber. It's it's a thinnish rubber. So if you have this toy, you're buying them, be careful. You know, this is like 12 years old. Um, you know, hard plastic. Not too thick and not too thin. It's like somewhere in the middle. But uh, he's got a lot of articulation. So elbows for the action feature and it looks like yeah I like Godzilla um speaker so I just covered up his stomach for that um it looks like when you do the action feature for the thing the mouth is open because that triggers is via the chest so he's kind of roaring and eating people which I wish they would have not included but there should be an on and off switch it's right here on the side, which kind of sucks because it's pretty noticeable. So I'm just going to turn it off, and you can do the action feature without it. And of course, you can do the same for the V-Rex. Uh, the only um, Bethesda games I've played is Fallout. But uh, arms articulate inward, um, up, down. So that's pretty dope. Should be the same for this side. This side's like almost a 360. That's weird. Oh, this one is too. It's just, I mean, it was a hindrance. But uh, wrist, 
360, something really cool about these hands. You guys are about to see this in a second. 360, I think. Yeah, the hands open up and the thumb moves up and down. Up and down. And then the hands, so you can literally put like Naomi Watts in here. That is freaking sweet. There you go. That is nice. That's really cool. It's a good job. Um, so even oh, uh, there she goes on my keyboard. But uh, ninety eight Godzilla is okay. It's not really that good, but it's a guilty pleasure, I guess. But uh, I'll show off Kong, his face close up. The paint's not that great. It looks like uh, it almost looks like uh, what's that dude's name from the Goonies? Sloth looks a little bit like sloth there with the eyes, but um, it is a, like a thinnish rubber, like I said. Overall, this is a really cool toy. You know, like uh, the V Rex, you got your screw holes, but it's covered. Uh, it looks like for articulation for oh, the legs. Oh, uh, you know what? Because this plastic is so old and he hasn't been moved and played with, might have been a little bit of breakage there. You hear that cracking. Just like the um, the V Rex with the tail, so um, it does move in and out. I'm afraid for this one to happen. It's the same way, so I'll go even slower. Uh, looks like you have no choice. <sighs> Fuck it. It looks like it won't go forward anymore because there's a hindrance. So it's just this way and this way. It does look cool. Moving fingers, I know, cool, right? And then it it looks like the feet articulate, but they really don't. It's just a line there, maybe for the glueage, but the feet do not articulate. And there are no pegs on the bottom, but we do have our uh, copyrights and stuff. So, see it there, Universal Pictures 75, and there's squares, which is interesting. Like you can put them on a stand. You know what? You might be able to put them on a stand, like a, there's a play set. So, yeah. Oh, you literally just asked if I seen the Goonies? Yeah, well, that was pretty interesting. The universe, Jurassic stuff. It's my favorite MCU movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, all right, um, Figment. Um, what else is there? The waist does not swivel. Um, I guess let's see if um, he can, because I can, yeah, 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 he can eat people. So the three people he came with are right here. So let's go with the native first. He can buy a native and hold it down. Uh, even though this wasn't accurate in the movie, I'm gonna do it anyway. Don't move the legs. Well, it's too late. Um, can eat her. Oh, this isn't a camera guy. This is the guy with the gun. So that's not Jack. But, uh, yeah, he can eat everybody. So yeah, it really cool. But, uh, since the guy asked about the legs, Michael Ortiz, um, he still stands fine. I can't believe how well these like these are made and they stand and Hasbro couldn't do that. Uh, the Raptors and um I don't think they're that great. I don't remember them really, but uh that is so cool. That and that and then it's also electronic. You can turn off if you don't want it. The hands move and articulate. Jimmy, that's, that's Jimmy then. I know a lot of people have guns though. You own this spray. All right, let's do. The showing off of these guys, measurements, comparisons, then uh, Q and A. Q and A. Let's go with the native. Uh, red eyes as well. Yeah, red eyes. Uh, pretty buff. And then, obviously a dude. <laughs> nice spot. That's from Space Jam. If you didn't know, uh, it looks like he's hailing a, a taxi. Hey, take that! Mm -mm. Oh, you fucking asshole! Oh, shit. That could've been bad, but it was okay. Got our damsel in distress. It's supposed to be Naomi Watts, but long hair, doesn't really care. Not accurate. White dress. Looking sexy. But here's the guy with the gun who think Figment thinks he's Jimmy, or someone thinks he's Jimmy. Um, obviously the sculpt is not good, but what do you want for, like, 
nearly two inch figures. Okay, so let's just get the measurements of the two inch figures and the measurements of Kong and comparisons. Uh, <laughs> Gotta go, Matt. All right, Alfalfa. This guy's about one and uh, four. Nearly a little bit above four. Let's go farther back. Actually, hold on. Let's keep it at about. Right there. About one and a fourth. Or four, eight, or, um. Nearly, actually, just go with one and a half. He's about one and a half inches tall. A little bit, uh, maybe three eighths. I probably meant to say four eighths. Uh, he looks with his hand there about one and a half. A blonde in distress, of course. Ain't that the best? Yeah, he's about one and a half, the native. And then... I, I was trying to answer questions. I almost forgot who was doing it. She's like, um... What is that? One, two, three, four, seven? Sixteenths, maybe? Seven sixteenths? Rawr. There you go. One seven sixteenths? So... Kong time. Kong time. How tall are you, Kong? Let's actually go a little lower. Hmm. Did I ever see Hacksaw Ridge? Hacksaw Ridge was good. It's very draining. It's the only problem I have with it. Very draining film. But very fucking good. Kong, you stand. This is a high quality toy. I mean, this guy's got some health, heft too. Not like heavy. Don't mess you up. Not like too heavy, but like... Yeah, he really is a right under 11. He's about um, he's a 10 and 7 eighth inches tall. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have moved the legs just to be safe. Oh, is this spring? This might be spring activated. Watch. Like, wait a minute, hold on. He might not be anymore. But he just, well, he just was. Oh, holy shit. That is so cool. Probably because I didn't read the instructions yet. Um, if you hold one arm, this arm already automatically has tension. So you can just hold this arm and push back. What's up, Lime Green? That's so cool. So, this way. They look better than the green soldiers you get bargain bends, lol. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, Ultimasaurus. Um, Liam. Uh, wow, that's a really cool feature. This, this, this guy kicks ass. Um, the only, the only thing is he's kind of aggressively posed to lean, which kind of sucks. Wish he was more neutral. I do not have any prototypes. It'd be really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, wanted to get the measurements of elbow to elbow. About nine inches. Um, depth wise, let's just say his, his shit's about right there. About seven and, seven and a half? Seven and a half-ish. So, uh, Yep. Let's go to the V-Rex comparison. No, wait, before. Because I'm not going to forget it. Instructions. Can't, can't forget. Yeah, it was a pretty inspirational uh, movie. So, what's up, Joan? There we go. So, wide, and of course, uh, this side's got nothing. So, ah. Uh, Got ourselves a Merry Christmas. There we go. Kong, any form of world instructions. Number one, move the power switch. Duh. Uh, number two, press to activate the mouth. Number three, to make Kong beat his chest, flip the switch. No shit. And it says nothing about the spring loaded arms, which is pretty dope. So maybe that's not supposed to be like a real, like, um,. Like feature, it's just included for the spring action arms, and uh, you can just do it as a kid. Pretty cool. Oh, and I think I just accidentally ripped this center. Yeah, you see that? Right, just happened live, live on the internet. Have I seen signs? Yes, that's probably his best film. Actually, you know what? Split's probably his best film. Shyamalan. Yeah, signs is great. Signs is pretty much perfect. The only issue I have with it is it cuts away when uh. The alien comes through the basement or the little uh, furnace cellar thing. Um, I was like, ah, I want to see it. I understand what he's going for, artistic shit. But um, uh, let's uh, let's pretend. So here are the sizings of the two. Kong is bigger. Kong can body slam and stuff. So Kong can beat the. Sh I don't want to do that, but 
Kong can, you know, beat the shit out of. And both are heavy plastic, so it's, like, perfect for, um, play with kids, so. Yeah. So you thought Signs was hilarious? Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Who's saying, uh... Who, FAF nerd saying no shit for who? Ugh. And boarded doors is right. But, um, yeah. That's standing. This is the scale, so it fits pretty well. Not too bad. We have an alternate universe. Bam. Where. There you go. Better angle for you. Angle for the camera. There you are. Boom. You can use a spring lever to punch a dinosaur. Yes, or a figure. So, works for both. Um, Kong and di other dinosaurs. So, Utah Raptor. It proves the same exact size as the uh, Rex, like I said previously. And also the Young Rex. So, Young Rex. Series 1, Raptor. Well, obviously not at scale. Nothing else is really going to be in scale. It's pretty much meant to be with the, the V-Rex, but might as well, right? Um, I don't think I saw the Avatar movie. Favorite Tom Cruise movie? Great question. Collateral, of course. Got the poster behind me. You guys know that. You've seen it on a live stream. Parasolophorus size. I can, I, I can totally see myself actually probably keeping this Kong. You gotta have a Kong, right? Oh, someone want to see a V-Rex, or an I-Rex with uh, the V-Rex, so. Here's an I-Rex with Kong. You know who I'm going to pick as a winner for that one. And then, these two together. So... Oh, there and of course, this I-Rex is modded by myself. I did a video on it, so let me move the parasol off out of the way. There you go. And about there and there. It's about, well, yeah, about there and there. There's a comparison for your Irexes. Totally forgot about that. Whoever asked for that, I'm sorry. But there it is. Um, Irex taken care of. Omega and Kong. Now there is a nice comparison. So... There you go, there you have it. Ooh, ooh. Suck a duck! Oh. <laughs> Stop and crap. Thrasher, and then we're almost done. So, oh my god. You know what's crazy? This almost looks like the same exact type of deal right here. Um, but, hmm. I don't know, it's... This is a higher quality tour, better play features, and this is, it's, it's not as good. So, uh, yeah. I swear to God, if this wasn't my highest rated review, I think it still is. I'm gonna go look, my channel. Um, I think it's out over 3 million hits. Let's look most popular. If this wasn't at over 3 million, it's almost at 3.4 million hits. If this wasn't at 3.4 million hits, I would have sold this a long time ago. But whatever, I have no choice, right? Um, animatronic, Spinosaurus. There's a nice little matchup for you. So, pretty much the same-ish height. That's great for kids. You know, you shouldn't because these are really expensive toys. Um, what else we got here? I would do Red Rex and Trike. So Trike, oh, that's really cool. That's that's nice. This actually looks really good. So I recommend this. Play wise. And then our last one. A little bit too big because Kong's supposed to be like massive, but uh, you can still play with him. You know, I probably don't recommend it. Once again, expensive toys. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you have any other questions, I think I pretty much did everything. I compared everybody. 
Um, if I did missed your comparison, let me know. Do I recommend picking up this guy? Do I recommend picking up this guy? Um, depends on the price you get them at. I got them at a pretty good price. That's 75 a piece, brand new in box. These go anywhere from like 150 to 300 pretty much a piece in box. Don't pay that much. I don't think they're that cool. But if you're a big fan of them, go for it. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of Kong uh, 2005. Um, I traded in the movie, so I don't own the movie <laughs> right now. Um, but um, I'll probably rebuy it when it comes out in 4K maybe. But... uh. I don't know. These are these are decent toys, but don't overpay for them. So yeah, Let's see what the chat's up to, and then uh, we'll end the live stream. Oh, vey. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Let's chat. All right. Do you think the Kong toys will be compatible with Kong Skull Island toys? No, because this Kong. Is like 11 inches, and I think that Kong is like 25 inches tall. Also, um, these guys are like, you know, one and a half inch scale, which I have to update. Um, see if I can do that. Probably not, because I'm streaming. Um, oh, it is, it is going to update. That's cool. But these are like one and a half inch scale, and the Lennard uh, Kong um, Skull Island toys are... I think three and three quarter inches, even though they're not really truly in scale with Kong and stuff, but that's how the big the figure sizes are. So, um, if you want, it costs way too much. What? What are you talking about? Uh, Death Star, the Omega. You wish you had one. Uh, the Omega's cool. The Omega's all right, but uh, yeah. Which Kong design do I prefer? That's a good question. Honestly. I probably prefer the Kong Skull Island because it looks more like a real gorilla or monkey or whatever the species is supposed to be. Um, this does look a little bit movie-like. Um, maybe too human-like, maybe? But probably the Kong Skull Island one, even though the movie was terrible. <laughs> so, that's my answer. Uh, it's a favorite giant monster movie monster I saw Jurassic Park with Godzilla. Should I buy the VX? I just said Dylan. Yes, Death Star. It was very cheap. I got a very good deal. That's why I got it. I think it was bidding or buy it now. I think it was bidding. Nobody else bid. So you have to go like right before the trends, you know. Um, Basketball Pro asks, when's the next live stream? Wish it was bigger. Who? Um, Kong? This is perfect for kids. Um, when's the next live stream? Uh, I'll do a video about the fixing, nerd. Um, that sounds so weird. Because it sounds like I'm calling your name. The next live stream is possibly, possibly Thursday night. No, probably not. Yeah, that's Alien Night. I'm not doing shit that night that day. I'm gonna finally take an off day. I'm gonna be filming another video t tonight, maybe two. Ugh. Um, and then Friday is hockey night, so I'm not doing. I'm not doing any work Friday, but Saturday, uh, live stream Saturday. Uh, Left for Dead. I think Left for Dead. I'm going to a birthday party of a friends, and then afterwards, Left for Dead time. So. I don't know what time Saturday. I'll tweet it out. So if you follow me on Twitter, Basketball Pro, um, you find out what time. So maybe like 11 or midnight Eastern. Um, and then Sunday before Backlash, we'll do Left 4 Dead 2. And then after Backlash is Do You Smell It? I, I think I already uh, said the schedule, but I might as well repeat it. And then uh, Sunday before Raw at 7. It might, mine too, Frederick. Sunday at, uh, at 7 before Raw. Is I am the one in twenty one and one, and those are the next lot two uh, three live or four actually live streams within four six days. So, oh thanks nerd. Or well, I think he's talking to me. Well, I don't mean a T Rex. Do you mean the V Rex, Richard or R Ricard? I don't even really know your name, but uh, here you go. There are a lot more questions up in the chat. What I'm, I'm what other questions? Lime green. Ask him. What's your question, Cheapzilla? Re ask you right now. I'm reading you right now. So it, it's weird to scroll up because once I scroll up, when someone else says something, a lot of people have been saying shit, it just keeps on moving, so I can't read it. You thought Thursday tomorrow was Lord? Uh, no, that's next Thursday. The 25th. That was, that was tweeted, right? The 25th. Let's find it. 
Uh, yeah, it's, it, that's a tweet, man. Clear your schedule for Thursday, May 25th at 7.30 p.m. EST. Brand new review, Jurassic World Live with Lord Christine. This hybrid Stegoceratops. That's the next dinosaur one. The Thursday, the 25th. That's next Thursday, 7.30 with Lord Christine. What do you think of Shin's on? I did not see Shin Godzilla. But I might be able to see it soon because it's coming on Blu-ray. Uh, okay, play Dying Light. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, thanks, nerd. Uh, worst action movie you've ever seen? I don't know. Use hot glue. Yeah, I could probably use hot glue, Alejandro, or maybe super glue. That's probably a tough one. Um, worst action movie. Um, how about like ex the Expendables? The second one's really good. The second one's pretty damn, actually almost great. But the first one's fucking terrible. First one, or uh, that one Die Hard with Jai Courtney, that was pretty bad too. Or any of the Resident Evils, pretty much. Especially the last couple ones. Holy shit. Um, well, they're not going to take the Jurassic World license. We already have Mattel got that, so. Um, you know, what other questions did I miss? Before I end it, because we're already at one hour, ten minutes, I'll probably end it here in a couple minutes. It's hot in here. I need to put the air on. It's not on right now. I need to fire that bitch up. Uh, I tried my best to keep to pay attention to the chat and review at the same time today, so not too bad, not too bad. Mm hmm. I'm going to tell where we're we talking about um, signs. All right, let's go back down. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Juliano, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, Kong 2005 is the Kong, smallest Kong out of the other ones. Well, it's probably because it's most realistic. <laughs> let's be real. Kong Skull Island Kong, that's fucking stupid how big he was. Um, best Spider Man franchise in movies? What? I don't understand the question. I mean, what are the best Spider-Man movies and franchises? Probably Spider-Man 1. That was my favorite one. Um, but I like the new kid. Looks promising. But I especially guess the last movie, we're going to have Laura Christine next Thursday. Oh, that's a good question. Series 2 Utah versus Lost World Utah. Um... I'll probably do, hopefully I can get a, one in box, because I had to sell the one I had in box that I cleaned. Um, that's a tough question, because the only flaw with this really is the tail is really, there's no stuffing like it is in the Lost World one. Lost World one is very hard. But this one has electronics. I really love that screen, man. Uh, both paint jobs are pretty dope. And a lot of people don't like the Lost World one. Lost World one's a pretty cool figure. It's got a really cool paint job, too. But uh, harder, better for play, uh, rubber on that guy compared to this one. It can tear easily and has torn on people. So um, I say tie, really. Um, depends on what paint job you like better. Both are pretty dope. It'll have to end sometime. Am I Italian? How'd you know? I got dark hair. <laughs> Other questions will pop up. So, what other JP boxes do you have? I won't show the dog. Dogs in the other room. Um, the Young Rex. You'll be, you can see that one. That's in box and I'll be reviewed. Abraham wants to see the V Rex. Uh, what, is there anything specific you want to see? Because I already did an overview of the detailing and stuff. So that'll be my question to you, Abraham. Um, tell Chris said, hey, well, I'm not with Chris right now, but I'll try to remember that. <laughs> uh, see you later, stuffs. Uh, I like Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock. Everyone likes Spider-Man 2. I think Spider-Man 2 is all right. Um, Doc Ock was a good villain, though. Um, Kong, Kong still in the second base? Yeah, because... Oh, Toho Kong is the biggest? Really? Hmm. Yeah, but that's why Juliano said that, too. Um... Oh. Plans to do good. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Leif, uh, Mattel has it. Mattel will be all right. Um, you think of doing a Utah Raptor scream? What? Oh, yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Frederick Greer. It's your favorite herbivore, Doris. That's a great question. 
Uh, yeah, I saw on eBay. Um, do I have the 2K9 Blu-ray? I do not. I have Richard about to end to uh, go to. Um, hey, uh, good for you if you like the Amazing Spider-Man movies. I didn't really, but you're allowed to like stuff that other people don't like. So, what's up, John? Um, damn, I just I favorite herbivore. Probably that trike. Um, I'm sorry, Hulk. I loved it. Probably this. Probably tr probably Triceratops because of the movie. And if you see, this is the one I had as a kid. And uh, you can see, getting a focus here for you. The one I had as a kid, and of course I used the the Rex, but uh, you can see how much paint wear is on the horns there. A lot of paint wear. I think that's like really the only paint wear on the whole body is just the horns. Maybe like the tips of the horns there in the frill. But uh, overall, that, that there's really not much paint wear there. Like these toys are just bad ass. Like that's amazing. So probably the Triceratops, probably the Triceratops, which is also Steven Spielberg's favorite. So yeah, Juliana, watching an alien makes you appreciate uh, it way more. So yeah, am I am I listing anything on eBay? Not any toys, I don't think. Maybe some wrestling toys, which you probably have no interest in. Fury Spider-Man 3. What? Wow. Okay. Uh, you meant to say Alien 3. You saw, oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I might end it on that. Locust Drone. I think that's, his name is Tristan. Um, least favorite thing about fan base communities, like hoarding or overbashing. Yeah, maybe hoarding. I see it a lot in Jurassic Park. Like, um, people will buy a shit ton of the Utah Raptors and just, like, have, like, 80 Utah Raptors. So, like, no one else can get, like, why, why do you need 80 of them? So, probably hoarding, which I already got a rant on. So, I'm probably hoarding. That's a great question. Uh, all right. We'll go with one more really good one. One more really good one. Uh, that hope, yes. Because Mattel makes the wrestling figures. Abraham, if you are new. I do wrestling figure unboxing lives here on the channel. Um, every for this month and for the past couple months, every after every pay per view and bef before or after every RAW, but it'll be switching into monthly uh, after the pay per views. But uh, review Mattel wrestling figures and they're freaking amazing. They're so dope. They're really awesome, and uh, they do a great job. They're the best, pretty much the best wrestling figures ever made. So I have a lot of hope and faith in Mattel. I've said it a billion times over and over again. Um, now nah, 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 I, I don't think so, Hulk. I don't, I don't agree with that. But James Bond, you are late, dog. But lucky you can DVR this. But the stream's gonna end in like one minute. So uh, just wait till it's archived, and you can watch the whole thing over and over again. Now you ever fix the Red Rex? I have not done that yet, but I should. Um, yeah. Um, if you like a focus, on, yeah, something. It should have been more simple, Death Star. So, uh, last question: Your favorite flying dinosaur, the Pteranodon. We'll go with the Pteranodon. I want to hear a joke. All right, I'm gonna steal a joke from. And there will be no review for the Rampage Jacks. I already said that, Jurassic Man. I already did two videos on it. I'm doing a third one of a custom, like I did a custom of the. Uh, well, my friend did it, but I showed it off. A custom of the Kylo Ren helmet. So it'll be a custom of a IRX, but uh, it won't be no review. It'll just go to Victoria's Cantina. Uh, to see a good, high-quality review. Uh, the joke before we go. Um, a, a bear and a rabbit are taking a shit in the woods. This is from Eddie Murphy, by the way. And the bear goes to the rabbit. Excuse me. Do you have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? Rabbit goes, no. So the bear wiped his ass with the rabbit. All right. Peace out. One love. It's Brando, last remaining survivor within a Stromo, signing off. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching over an hour and 18 minutes. Good review. Good times. Peace out, y'all.